Tom, great to see you. Great to see you at Homelands. First game back on the new pitch. How are you feeling? Yeah, look, look, the boys are, you know, obviously very much looking forward to it. Um, first game here, I've been playing away, which has been, you know, a little bit, bit difficult and not yeah. ideal. So hopefully the boys can give a really good response. Nice one. How's the... If this pitch can take this weather, it can take anything. Absolutely. How is it? Yeah, no, look, it's, the pitch is fine. Obviously, they've had every rain for about three or four days now. Yeah. And it's holding up great. So, yeah, it should be a good game for both teams. Yeah. On to the team news. Um, we've had a big debate between all the fans. Where does Bradley and where does Tarek play? Yeah, so, they're yeah. both in the team today. They are. I mean, look, Bradley's going to play a little bit higher today. Is it? Because um, Danny's got a, a, niggling, a niggling injury that he hasn't been able to recover from, from yeah. two Saturdays ago. Yeah. Um, so, Bradley's going to play there today. And, look, we've got, you know, he's got fantastic energy, enthusiasm. He's sharp, so we've no doubt he can give us he can give us offer us something going forward. Yeah, and any other sort of team news? Is uh, Noah close to coming no, back? Noah's trained twice this week with with no issues, so hopefully, if needed, you know he's in a position to come on and try and influence the game. Great. Well, very best of luck today. We're looking forward to. We can't wait. No, brilliant. <laughs> okay, right, thank, thank you, you very much. Cheers. Thanks for that. Cheers. Oh, 
Kevin, that hard fought game today, one of those sort of old traditional games today, but a great win in the end. Yeah, absolutely. I thought um, yeah, they're a really strong opposition um, and, and it was difficult today. At times it felt like a little bit of a stalemate. I don't think either team was, was causing the massive problems for the, op for the opposition. Um, but look, a 1 0, I think, for, for a management team is a good sign, and I thought it was a professional performance today. I think we were just discussing there very quickly. I know we've not had long to reflect on it, um, but quite often I leave these games with, with quite a lot of development points. Today I don't think I've got that many. I'm not saying that we can't be better, of course we can. But I think each player carried out their role really well. So I think individually and then collectively in units, um, I, think, I thought there was a lot of effort in there. There was a lot of desire. They threw a lot, lot at us, um, as you do if you're losing a game towards the end. But they they done that for for maybe 20 minutes or so. Um, and I thought we defended that really well, and then we looked quite dangerous on the break. And Young Noah had a good chance, and it could have been yeah. could have been two nil and, yeah. and relieved that pressure. But look, he's come on in the game and done really well. Um, so really pleased with everybody. Good. I mean, we, we thought that's probably one of the best teams we've seen against us this season. And bearing that in mind, Jacob didn't have that many saves to make, did he? So the defence must have been doing something well. Yeah, they did. Do you know what? We, we at half-time, um, we gathered and we asked them to do something slightly different tactically in the second half. And do you know what? I thought they carried that out really, really well um, because it was a little bit different to what we do out of possession usually. So it was new information to them. Um, and we sort of said at half time that that's our job as a management to recognise things like this. You might see something different, but just carry it out and do it really well. And I thought they'd done that. And that was really, really pleasing because what we asked them to do was, was quite selfless at, at times for certain players in terms of the running there. Today. Yeah. Um, but no, like pleasing performance and obviously our first home game back, back here. Mm. Um, it was important for the boys to put in a performance and for us to get a win and, and so the fans that haven't been able to travel to Chatham yeah. um, hopefully they'll leave pleased with what they've seen and they'll see the style of play that we're trying to um, integrate into, into the team really. <laughs> and the pitch really stood up. I can't imagine any other pitch down here being on today that of the way that we had bearing that in mind it was a good game of football yeah I think there was there was only two games on in, in, yeah. in our league wasn't there um, there was a patch over the far side side that had hit a lot of rain had hit it and it was um, it was slightly damp over there but the pitch has played it's exceptional and look, I know everybody was was frustrated and I'll mention it again but fair play to Don and Derek and, and yourselves and all the volunteers that been involved and now it's done right so yeah. we can forget and move on and yeah. really appreciate it was nice before the game when you get here early and you see the under 14s have played on the pitch yeah. um, and when we came for training the other week um, the girls team were on the pitch before yeah. so it's been utilised in the right way for the community as it should be and then finally I mean you'll have your own man of the match mine was Vance Pala a word about his performance today yeah look I thought um, I, I thought Vance done really well um, it can be it, what we asked him to do at times can be quite a lonely um, position, uh, but he showed good quality from the goal. Uh, and that's what Vance can do. Um, and we know that, and he knows that. He yeah. just needs to be turned into consistent performances. Um, my man of the match, Harvey Brand, and I'll probably always okay. choose a different man of the match to, yeah, yeah, yeah. to what the natural would. Um, I thought he was absolutely exceptional. He always looks up, doesn't he? I thought he, yeah. I thought he was powerful. I thought his decision making was really good. And we've got to bear in mind that Harvey's playing in a, a position which um, he hasn't necessarily played in for extensive periods of time prior to coming here. Um, and I think he's extremely, extremely powerful and, and will develop into an exceptional player. But I thought he was, I thought it was fantastic mm. today, yeah. just his energy and strength. And again, not to take away from Vance, it was similar last week. Danny got the plaudits and you give, give man a match to Tarek. To, to, yeah. to, to Tarek. Um, but I think today, look, they, they all put a real shift in. Mm. And look, we've got players on the, the bench, haven't we? Kamani, um, obviously, Anthony Edgar, we've got David Azobia away. Obviously, Danny um, didn't quite recover from, from his injury and, and Tolan. 
So they'll have chances of getting minutes on, well, on well, Tuesday. Well, it doesn't get any easier, does it? I mean, we've got Hyde here on Tuesday, which I think everybody's looking forward to. But this league, this standard of football, it's so hard, isn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, look, there's... there's I know it sounds like cliche, but it's not easy. It's but really it really not. isn't. <laughs> and you can't, you can't approach it like that. I think they're a really good, good outfit. Um, and that was tough for us today. Yeah, it's like this toll, so we need to recoup and recover and, and get ready for Tuesday. Brilliant. Well, best of luck. Glad to have you home. Glad to have the boys performing. Thanks for everything you're doing. Yeah, thanks for your support, Cheers, mate. Thank you.